This is a mega box which we had in the game recently. This was me gemming and opening up a bunch of mega boxes. Because in today's video, we're gonna open a ton of mega boxes, and any brawler I pull, I'm gonna push all the way to rank 35. So it's gonna be incredibly tough. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's begin. All right, first account here. A lot of brawlers to get. If you use code BT1 when you're gemming, thank you. Helps for the channel do crazy videos like this. So we're just gonna open the two boxes at a time and see what happens. That's a skin. That's not a brawler. We need a skin. What? The Mega Box event. Some people loved it. Some people hate it because a lot of times it's mainly cosmetics, right? And the Mega Boxes were quite hard to get. You're probably watching this in the future when they weren't here. I'm sure they'll bring them back, honestly, because they already have them back in game for like other events. Oh, that would have been such a good brawler to push. But it's just a skin because they're, they're so like polarizing. Some people freaking get crazy pulls and half the time you get nothing. You know what I mean? So I understand the hate for them. I think, this, I think nostalgia for Mega Boxes was more than how they actually are, but yeah. Oh, that's a six, though. Is that RT? So we're pushing our, Is this a double brawler? Oh, that's the Sovereign Rigo skin. That's rare. Well, you guys saw our first brawler pull. RT unlocked. But he's going to be the first one that we are pushing. All right, so hopping onto the main account. We've only ever pushed him to rank 33. I don't know what happened, why I didn't finish it. But 781, here we go. Got the cool skin for RT, though, too. But I'm actually going to try out his new gadget out of line. Instantly charges RT super, which I think is crazy. But I love his shots. I mean, I just got shredded there, but... All right, we almost didn't get that goal. But I want to try this gadget. So you can get the super in any form. Originally, when I saw this, I thought it was only in the other form. Bro. And then you can gadget to jump back if you need it. That gadget's insane. Just instantly get an RT super, bro? What? That's wild. Okay. See that trick shot? Basically, we're having really easy wins. Already up to 70 for 25 trophies. I could soup for this. I'm going to do it. The bodies. There we go. Victory! Hey, that guy's name was BT1? I just realized this. I beat myself. GG. <laughs> it's always going good. And this was really the first time we played RT since we mastered him over a year ago. So we're getting the hang of his gadget again. And it was like so crazy, man. It's like, oh, Edgar's going to be jumping on me. Never mind. I have my gadget. I didn't hit any shots. Doesn't matter. It like made RT so much easier to play. But RT is tanky enough for like he can walk it in like that, bro, too. Oh, block that trick shot. We knew it was coming. That's how you trick shot right there. <laughs> one game away from rank 30 already. Yeah, we were one game away from rank 30, but then we lost twice in a row and spiked down to 969 trophies. So we decided to switch it up in gem grab to get our mojo back, man. All right, we're literally one trophy away. Very interesting comp they have. A dive comp, which is perfect for RT. Dude, the mark is so nice. Like, it helps their shots melt like crazy. Like, Surge normally doesn't two-tap Edgar, but he does with my mark. They're probably, a, like, a random comp, because this is they don't even have a gym carry, so it's kind of rough on them, but... If needed, I could uh, super in, super out. That's why I like saving my gadget right at the start and not just popping it. Try and get your super first normal. Unless someone jumps on you, then you can gadget if you absolutely need it. There you go, a thousand. Still a long way to go though. So now the grind was going okay and we had a few good clutches along the way, but then we switched back to Brawl Ball for a big grind and now we are one game away from 1100. Nice. But Clancy's we've ran into a few times and lost once it gets ranked up. He is just unbeatable. Okay, Clancy is ranked up. He's going to actually melt me if he wanted to. Oh my gosh, defense. He melted me that much? Bro. That caught him off guard. Let's go. <laughs> That's the first game versus Clancy we actually won. 1100. Now after that, we took a break because it was back and forth for a while until the next day we had an amazing mode in Hot Zone. One game for 1200. Okay, we have to hold this zone. We have a big, big wall. 
Let's go. See how much I can melt the tanks, but triple tank, that's so crazy. Let's go, dude. This map is made for RT, man. Look at this. Full tank again. Really, honestly, I'm scared about Hank. Hank kind of counters me on this, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, that was a big kill by Raz. Okay, one versus the RT. Got him. Got him. Yeah, bro, Hank is the freaking counter, man. Let's go, that's big. Jackie knew. That kills everything. Whew. Jeez, dude. These games be stressful. After that win, it put us five wins away from our first rank 35 in this video. And then we won the next two games. But matchmaking, I took a risk to go grab some shoes and grab a snack. And I barely made it back in time. Oh, uh, barely lived there. Two games away. Okay, this is actually going to be a tough comp. I'm actually going to activate this gadget before a Lily... I really like to go in, you know? Just run right on in. Don't mind me. That was an easy one. One game away, ladies and gentlemen. That was fast matchmaking, too. So these guys are going to be good. Amber, Lou, and Meg. He's essentially just trying to get in gadget range of me, but I, I don't want that to happen. All right, we can push forward. I'm actually going to activate my gadget here. Nice. Amber is the issue. The Meg can't go in. Let's go, bro. This gadget has broken RT. And I think he's like specifically made for this freaking map, dude. 12.50 exactly. I'm excited about that one because that one was a little, uh, a little scary. Next account is not me. Well, it is. We actually have two titles for it, which is kind of funny. Right side has a ton of brawlers to get. A lot of legendaries too. I mean, we opened some boxes already on stream. Let's see. Hopefully we don't just get cosmetics. Hopefully we chewed through a lot of those because again, we're going to see a lot of repeat pulls. Trust me, I would know. We opened a ton of mega boxes for the event, even though it's probably not going on when you guys are watching this, but still. Flashing too. Please don't just be a skin. Is that Fang? I'll gladly push our rank 35 Fang. What if we get double though? Then we gotta push both of them. Freaking Piper, man. All right, well, those are our next two brawlers. A double box. That's good luck. All right, next up, I'm gonna actually use Piper first. It was a double box. I get the right to choose. The main reason, this is a great Piper map. There we go. Okay, got him all. We're landing shots. Got the dub. Let's go. Long way to go. As long as we keep killing the lava lobster. Oof. I was not prepared for him to super in, even though I should have been. Here is where I wish I didn't have my knockback, but I had my everything else. Oh, my freaking gem loser. Just kidding. That's actually... I almost got hit by that. I was scared. There's the hypercharge. It's the first time I really had to use it on, like... I've gone in a bunch. Just hopefully names are like this one where they're not crazy scary. Because if Clancy would have got ranked up, we would have really struggled. But yeah, long way to go, man. So I was a little rusty, but I really like how Piper has her jump for escaping danger. Like you can jump away from a Mandy super. And after a bit of back and forth, we found our groove and we easily got to 1,050 trophies. But the most satisfying things with Piper are like hitting all three shots in a row or when you get a kill shot. Boom, kill, boom, Piper kill, boom. It's like so much fun to play. But our dodges were coming in clutch again. Look at that. Right here. Dodge that Nani head. Boom. This is a game I wish I had knocked back. I need my super up at like all times, basically. That means this Leon's coming. I've charged Leon did not survive. Oh my gosh. No, I, I threw. I should have jumped. I didn't think he was going to clip me. I 
Even though after I was saying the dodges, I didn't think I would get clipped there, man. That one was rough. But we're making great progress. And a few games later, we were dominating. And then out of nowhere, we had the wildest jump scare I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> Barry came out of nowhere and scared me. Alright, I had no idea he was coming, but he supers and then gets pushed. <laughs> <laughs> this extensive super range that was imagine he killed me there oh gosh and after that we were rolling man we got to 1150 trophies and we got an underdog win and we were rolling some more because piper is like so good on this map and we easily got to 1200 trophies and then we won another underdog match which is crazy dude then that put us five games away from our next rank 35 popped Fang could have ended my whole career right there, dude. Barely dodged those. I didn't know they were there. All right. See if my math was correct. We're still four games away. Oh, that was so clean, dude. Yeah, we had two losses, man. But one of them was an underdog loss to Juan Carlos. So we're three games away now again. Easy dub. Two away. I don't like seeing that Leon. See ya. One away again. Okay, what do we got? A tick Lily. No. Bro, Lily is gonna be the death of me, man. Lancy. Got him. Gadget. Got, got the Clancy. He's the one who got just ranked up in his. Oh my gosh! The auto aim literally saved us! Let's go! Right here, I had super. I was ready for Lily. But the auto aim went backwards, dude. If we killed Razwin, I think we would have killed him. But on to the next. If you don't remember the last poll, the double box of Piper Fang. So now we're on the Fang. We're gonna try Brawl Ball. It's not a great map for him. You hear that vision gear? Oh, dirty. But what should happen is I really shouldn't miss my boot kicks because I just got done playing Piper. That was so weird. My auto aim took me to Gale. Nice shot, nice shot. <laughs> Holy hypers, bro. Oh, got our first loss out of the way early. This is why Retina is my all-time least favorite Brawl Ball map. I hate it. You can't get goals like that. It's the stun. So we continued on, and then we got into the groove with the goal scoring with the stun gadget. And we did have some bing, 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 bings around too, dude. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. There we go. Nice. Uh, it's actually going better than I thought now, honestly. There we go. Boom. That's my first full on one, bro. I don't think I can get it, but. Bro, we got the triple early, but they just melted us. A full on pain counter. This was cool, though. I'm glad I got this clip. Boom. 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 Those were only three kills of the game, though. Now, after that, we did lose again. So we decided to go play while walking on the treadmill for a mini break. And we went into gem grab now, too, because Brawl Ball was a little bit too inconsistent. And we got Fang to rank 30. And oh, man, we got some good bing, bing, bings here, dude. Like, this one was crazy. They, like, all stacked up perfectly. And just was like, dun, 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 all dead. And then that put us one away from the 1,000 trophies. But the rank 30 game was nuts. We got the hypercharge. And then, boom, it was literally over for them with the bing, 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 bing. I don't know how else to describe it. You know, it's just it's what he does. Yeah, that thing was crazy. But then we pushed on until the map changed, and that's where we called it a day. Day two pushing Fang, and we have Ring of Fire. 1046. Ring of Fire is like the best map for him at the moment right now, so we're gonna go for it. They do have a Clancy, but so do we, so at least we don't have to worry about that. I do like our comp a lot better. Oh, that's really bad for him. He literally dashed right into me. I'm just going to use it because why not? Game's over. Well, 
Good first game. Hopefully we just don't see a bunch of Clancy's because he's going to shred us. Now, the next game was rough and we were down a lot, but that's because Fang is like a slow starter brawler until you get your super. And so the same with Clancy. He's even worse because he sucks until he gets stage three. Stage two is arguably. But once I got my supers and Clancy got ranked up, we had a good shot to make a comeback now, especially once I got my hypercharge. Here we got hypercharge last moments here. Let's freaking go. <laughs> That was a tough game. Once Clancy got ranked up though, GG. Big win right there. Yo, that was an underdog? Oh, we beat them when they were right away, one away from their rank 30, bro. Oh no, I feel bad. We stopped his Poco from getting there and his Frank. <laughs> That's the Fang plays we need. I wasted my super though. Now we gotta get that comeback. Well, we made our good play that turned it around. We had 0% at that time. Oh, that's why Fang's so crazy, dude. So we did have our first loss of the day, but right away we turned it around with some crazy super triple kills to take us to 1,100 trophies. So we all know Fang just has crazy super plays sometimes. So let's do a mini montage for us Fang lovers. Oh my gosh, bro. It's so unfair. Even when I die, I get triple kills. Crazy. But it was going good, man. I actually love the popcorn gadget. I think it's underrated. Like, it's so good on the open maps like this. Like, it gives Fang more utility. People can't camp behind walls and crap. But we were rolling now, and we were one game away from 1,200 trophies. Nice. See, popcorn didn't even get close to me. Okay, Fang's coming in, so I'm gonna popcorn. So negated his freaking hypercharge, bro. 1200. We're like six to seven games away. Look right there. Go backs her off and allows me to actually get my super. See people camping on that corner, gets killed. Win. Final game, hopefully. It'll be tough. There's a Clancy. Double freaking Clancy, bro! Okay, wait till this gadget runs out. We just got to build this lead because they have a very slow starting comp. I mean, so do we, but theirs is worse. Big, massive. I was just spamming auto aim, but it doesn't matter. That's what you do with Fang. They both claim he's at silver. Okay, I have hypercharge, but we have a massive lead. They're not ranked up yet. Didn't even need to use my hypercharge, bro, because the melts. They had too much of a slow start. Imagine they get ranked up, it would have been over. Wow, dude. Ended off on a 15 win streak. Three hours on that push, bro. Fang was fun. On to the next one. This account has a interesting name because we tried to beat Brawl Stars, okay? Free Mega Box still on this one. That means I haven't logged into it. Nothing. A lot of brawlers to get here, though. Lots of legendaries. Got Kopiti one in there. Let's go. Didn't realize video would cost quite a bit. I'm just going to do it. Dude, that was the entire offer. I didn't pull a single brawler. This account is cursed. I have a, oh, I have a free one though. The free one gives me freaking a brawler. We'll get <laughs> Mandy, oh my gosh. That's wild. We have our 866 trophies. We're gonna take a long grind up there. Unfortunately, like the maps aren't the best for her today. Early on, we wanna get there kind of fast, you know? Oh, look at that snipe though. I didn't even see him on the map. She does do a sneaky amount of damage, though, believe it or not. That's a kill. Like, most people don't expect her damage, her main attack damage to be that crazy, but it is. And I have the damage gear on because I'm not going to be facing Pipers. Normally, I'd be facing Pipers. I hit Dinah there, I think. We do have a slow starter comp. Um, Once we get Mr. Clancy ranked up, it's a GG. And uh, there we go. I like the shooting through the wall gadget. We hit him on the knockback. That feels bad for him. It was a great start for us, that game. Star player. Great. Star drop. Not great. Do you want to stand back and just get dominated here? That's fine. That's fine, bro. Okay, now predicting where they are going to go. Right here. Boom. I missed them all. <laughs> there we go. Nice. So you see the embodiment of quick games. Hopefully that continues. So after that, we got 900 trophies and our snipes were heating up a little bit. So we finally got a double snipe chain, dude. Yeah, 
Oh, another double snipe. Let's go. And before long, we got 2,000 trophies, but the tank matchups were a bit rough. So we went on to a little losing streak now. So we switched it up and we're in wipeout now. And that got us back to one game away from 1,000 trophies, but these snipes were crazy. Oh, 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 double snipe. Double snipe again, dude. Bro, I think all four of my kills were literally just from the snipes. They were... All right, well, we're back a thousand again. This is a much better mode for her. And this ended up being the mode we needed now because we were rolling. We beat a few good teams and we got some underdog wins. We beat a Lily, which is annoying to deal with for our 1100 trophy game. And then we ended up actually getting a draw with this comp using 8 bits turret with Mandy. And it was actually kind of crazy. We kind of stole that idea and that got us to 1150 trophies. But basically, it was crazy because 8 bits turret boosts Mandy super to deal over 7,000 damage on her super, which is wild. And her main attacks just hit really hard. Part two. That's 7,000 damage. Well, you can see the turret strat's crazy. I didn't really hit any crazy turret snipes, unfortunately. Oh, we got the Byron? What? Oh, there's double Byrons. This guy's done, though. That's why the turret's OP. That, that Byron, he was healing up. I don't know, but normally a Mandy shot doesn't kill that. Okay, let's see. One Mandy shot deals 3,700. That's crazy from the turret. That's where we won our 1,200 game easily. And then we got insecure, which usually means the team's really good. We ended up pulling out that win. But then the next game, we ran into the scariest comp I did not want to see, which is a full tank run it down comp on this map, which sometimes you can't do anything. And if we didn't have 8-bit to boost our Mandy or all of our damage, we probably couldn't have. Like literally the only reason we had a shot to win was this 8-bit turret. Boom. <laughs> Get melted, Frank. Okay, just need one more takedown. Boom. 3,900 with the turret, dude. That's the only reason why we were able to just chew through that comp. And that was with delay, dude. We're two games away. Honestly, the Mr. P, though, too, is actually really clutch. <laughs> oh, man. All right, great start. We're just being really aggro because this is going to be a fast game. Jeez, man. All right, one game away. Very long matchmaking. There's a Poco. Nice snipes. Piper is literally right here. Boom. Slow gadget. Snipe. Ah. 3,900. One shot. One shot. Would have been a one shot. Oh, I walked right in that. That's a, I, I wanted a perfect game for the last one. Okay, we have a massive lead, though. The Poco really, really hurt them. We got to end up on a snipe. Boom. Oh, it hit her, but we're pushing. There we go, dude. A lot quicker than I thought, honestly. And I had a lot of fun pushing her. I thought it was going to be rough. It was not. This is great, dude. Next account. Star shop for logging in, maybe. But we just did a different account. You guys opened that. And we literally didn't pull a single thing up with this rebox. Oh, Farley skin. But yeah, like, come on, man. We opened all of the day rewards. The 50 mega box and got no brawler. Granted, we really only needed, like, legendary. So I get it. But let's see if this 50 box is the same. Ooh, dude, let's go. That's a good legendary too, because Meg is OP. But the 50 isn't done, but we freaking finally unlocked a legendary, dude. Imagine. Bonnie? Imagine. This is box, this box is still flashing, guys. Ah, he trolled by his skin. So Bonnie or Meg, I already know my choice. 100% going to be Meg. Ooh, and Griff, though. I really like Griff. Oh, that was the last one. So Meg, Bonnie, Griff, I'm going to go with Meg. Now it was on to Meg, who's absolutely broken right now. But what else was broken was my brain hitting the record button at the start of the push. So we did get to 1,050 trophies, but at least I noticed right then instead of the whole push. But an interesting tech that we picked up during the time with Meg is with the knockback when her suit blows up. Basically, you can get that for great goal potential in Brawl Ball. So like right here is an example of Meg's mech suit, the goals. This is from earlier. Boom. 
knew it was gonna get knocked out, so I super pre-shot it and shot. That's why that's really good. This is the easiest rank 35 push we've had so far. That's a goal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you got it. So even though we were like high for trophies, the wounds were coming fast, and I barely had a chance to like showcase Meg at all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hager got by and got that goal, though. Get out of here, fool. Uh, sorry, I'm fully focused because we're literally high up in trophies and I don't want to lose. See, we're rolling, dude. So we actually got our first loss one game away from 1150 trophies. But we got it turned around because we had a crazy Meg. Rico and Buster as a comp is just so good. Not scary early on. Not scary until he gets ranked up. But if we win before he gets ranked up, it's not scary. Nice. That's the power of freaking Meg, bro. Beat Clancy before he got ranked up, but otherwise it's so hard to deal with. 1200. And that put us six wins away from rank 35, but we did lose to a double Frank comp. Like, dude, that's just too dang strong, man. But we fought our way back up there in trophies game. We had some good wins, and now we're three games away from rank 35 once again. Hopefully no more double Frank comps. Oh. Oh. Maisie used to be so good. So meta. Not so much anymore. He's still a great tank counter, though. Big. Tried to pass it up. Dang. It was a good attempt. There we go. We can deal with it. Everything, as long as it's not double Franks. Second game with Rico, Frank, and then the Mortis. Not gonna lie. Mortis is gonna be tough into our comp. We're so tanky, and then Rico can just melt them too. Frank. Oh my gosh, dude, they all just got melted, dude. Crazy that Meg can melt one Frank fine, but not two. <laughs> all right, no seconds, rank 35. Probably see a video on his channel. I'm one away now. This is like a traditional good comp on this map, but the meta shifted so much recently. Where Sandy is like, can't deal with all the tanks right now. Oh my gosh. There we go, just escort him in. One goal away from rank 35 Meg, pushing five freaking rank 35s from brawler pulls, bro. You're done. Oops, I didn't mean to shoot that way. It's over. It is over. Does that put us at 1257? It does. A ton of rank 35 pushed. Man. But before you go, I need to tell you about something crazy and thank today's sponsor, Samsung and Tribe. Tribe recently hosted the Brawl Stars Olympics versus the US versus Canada versus the EU with nine of my fellow YouTubers that you all know and love. So you need to go check out that video right now by clicking here or using the link in the description. But lots of them were playing on the amazing Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. It's literally the best phone for mobile gaming. So you need to check that out in the link in the description as well. But the video is amazing and you need to go see how it ends right now. Again, click that link right here. Check the link in the description.